Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Garth Grills. Today, I have a special one for you. I'm gonna be doing a tomahawk steak caveman style. Now, I've always wanted to do this. I don't know if it's gimmicky. I don't know if it's awesome. I've actually never cooked a tomahawk steak before. And so today, I'm going all in and I'm cooking it caveman style. Now, what does caveman style mean? It means that you're actually cooking the steak, or anything for that matter, directly on the coals. So I need to get a bunch of lump charcoal hot and fill the, pretty much the whole base of the, of the barbecue. And then once it gets up to temperature where it's just white hot, then we're gonna lay down that tomahawk directly onto the coals and we'll see how it goes. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here it is. Here is my tomahawk steak that if you are local to Huntington Beach or Southern California, I got it at the Beef Palace. It's a special shop that's been around for 60 plus years. As you can see here, one way to annoy the wife a little bit is just spend about 90 something dollars on a tomahawk steak. So what exactly is a tomahawk steak? It's a ribeye. It's a bone-in ribeye and they leave the bone a little extra long so that it looks like a tomahawk. So I've cooked rib ribeyes before. I've done reverse seared ribeyes. Uh, this is my first time doing a bone-in ribeye. So this is a tomahawk steak. So let's go ahead and unwrap this thing and let's start seasoning it up. All right guys, like I said, the plan is just to season it with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this whole thing layered thick with salt and pepper because I assume, because I've never done this before, I assume that once I put it on those hot coals, a lot of the seasoning is gonna either melt off or rub off. So I'm gonna go rather generously with the salt and pepper across this whole thing. And then I'm taking it out now and pre-seasoning it now because I need to have about 30 to 45 minutes to get those charcoals nice and hot and I want this steak to rest a little bit and actually come down from refrigerator temperature because I don't want to throw it on the hot coals with it being super cold because that's when the steak can tense up and get chewy. So let's go ahead and season this thing. All right guys, so we're doing this caveman tomahawk on the Weber charcoal grill, of course. And this is the Performer Series. And um, first things first, we gotta get our charcoals lit and nice and hot. So I'm probably gonna use this one basket to get a nice bottom layer of charcoals going. And then I'm gonna add some more lump charcoal on top. My assumption is that because that tomahawk steak is so big, I'm gonna need a larger surface area of really hot coals. So I don't think a basket is gonna, is gonna be enough. So I'm gonna use this basket to get it all hot, throw it in the barbecue, and then add more lump charcoal on top. And then once that is hot, then we can actually start the cook and put the tomahawk steak directly onto the coals and cook this up caveman style. So let's get this lit and get it into the barbecue. All right guys, for those of you that are wondering, I'm using these Weber lighter cubes. I think they're just easy. They are quick, they do the trick, and they're relatively inexpensive. I think they're $5 for a pack of 24. So I get those at Home Depot. So I just place one here on the bottom of the charcoal grate, and then I just light it with the lighter, pop the basket right on top, and we'll come back in about 10 or 15 minutes, and this thing will be fully on fire.
All right, guys, moment of truth here. Threw the meter in. Now, typically, you don't want the meter directly above coals because it'll get too hot. So I'm gonna have it facing towards the non-charcoal side of the barbecue. So let's uh, throw this bad boy on here. All right, guys, I'm cutting away just to let you guys know that um, when I put that ribeye onto the hot coals, it started flaring up like crazy. And I didn't heed some advice that I got from other people's videos, which is um, do a thinner piece of meat. And the reason being is because you're cooking it quickly. It's just like hyper grilling your steak. And I put a solid baseball cut, probably two to three inches, the two and a half pound uh, tomahawk steak directly onto the coals and I got a really good crust on it but the inter internal temperature wasn't changing at all so uh, what I did is I did a bit of a, a hybrid of cook so I actually pushed that lump charcoal off to the side and I'm at actually cooking indirect heat right now so uh, we're going to cut away to the finished product but I did want to let you know that um, if you're going to do this do a thinner piece of meat and it's still fun. It's still a ton of fun. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that char on the outside tastes from doing it caveman style up front. So it's kind of like I seared it caveman styled and I finishing off traditional cook. So let's cut away to the final product and uh, let's see how it tastes. All right guys, we're back from the grill. Uh, like I said, I cheated a little bit, or a lot of it. Uh, this was not on the coals the whole time. I actually pulled it off the coals, put it on the cooking grate, and cooked it until about 135 degrees. But either way, it was on the coals for the first part of the cook. So in my mind, we still cavemaned it, just not fully because this ribeye was very, very thick, as you guys saw. So I'm going to unwrap it, and then the first taste... I'm going to have a special guest do the first taste just because for a piece of meat like this, it requires a bit more expertise than I can offer. So let me just wrap, unwrap this real quick. I want to see how it looks. All right, check this thing out. I mean, from the outside, it looks delicious. Um, I'm not too concerned about the charcoal. That's what a lot of people were saying is like, you're cooking it on charcoal. So let's go ahead and cut this thing off the bone. Go you know ahead and cut into it. Actually, remove my meter probe first. There we go. All the way from Huntington Beach, California. Audrey Carol Harris. Step on in here. All right, we're gonna have you try this meat. Again, this is the first caveman style. You've never had this before, I've never had this before. And I'd like you to go ahead and take a piece of meat and give it a shot. How is it? You can be honest. It's delicious. Is it delicious? All right, we scored. All right, guys, there you have it. Tomahawk steak, caveman style-ish. I know I cheated a little bit, but you know what? The spirit was there. We started off caveman style, and this steak is delicious. I highly recommend you try this, probably with a thinner piece of meat. But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell as I release new videos. I'm also on social media, at Garth Grills, across all the platforms. And thank you guys so much for watching.